It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I was up around 4.30 in the morning. Um, I spent the early part of the morning just verifying everything was done. I uh, got to a little bit of um, editing this morning after that. I got something to eat, and uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the uh, day getting the Ultra Reality in order. I don't know if I'm going to post anything today. It's more just, uh, let's let's get everything uh, in shape. So, um, I'm planning on taking a shower tonight, um, and I'm really just kind of wasting time until I get there sort of thing. Um, I tried to do a little bit, little bit of reciting. Um, one of my um, posts got um, cut. Um, I got cut when I was copying it from the SD. I've had this happen before, and I can usually save them. Um, it's just I might have to download some more software, so that's going to be. I, I don't want to move forward um, further in resetting until I figure that out. Um, at the very least, so that I can give myself a couple of days to, you know, let my uh, let my head clear on the recit recitation because it was like a 15 minute recitation. And if I'm gonna redo it, I want to do. It. I don't want to do it right away. Um, wait until my head clears a little bit before I do it again. So, but I mean, I, I like the idea of doing it in one take, right? If I do it again, then I'm gonna be correcting myself and I can just, just let it sit, right? So. Um, But I mean, that, that means I needed to wait until uh, the, the vlogs for 26, 27, 28. What, why am I even telling you this? Um, I've got like five vlogs coming up, so i, I got to wait for that. That's the point. Um, and uh, it's basically what I'm doing for this afternoon, kind of just sitting around waiting. Um, I'm going to wait until a little, little later, take a shower until the guy's asleep. Um, I don't have that worry that, you know, two people are going to stand upstairs at the same time. At the very least, not, a one, not, a, not on Sunday afternoon like this, right? Sunday night, okay, but not Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I will have, I will have a good understanding of what I need to do for the Ultra Reality by the end of the day, so that's that, but uh, otherwise, um, this is, I'm really just checking in, um, this is what will be one of probably two or three, um, just straight catch-up days um, before I get back um, to work. So, that's the idea. Okay, it's 20 to 7 at night. Um, I've got everything set up for the Alter Reality to go. I've just got to get reading. I'm not going to start tonight, though. Um, I haven't showered yet. Um, I'm going to do that in a few hours. Wait till around midnight or so. Um, maybe a little earlier than that, but I want to be certain that the guy upstairs is asleep, so. Um, there's that to do tonight. Besides that, um, I'm, I'm just going to spend the rest of the night um, kind of uh, doing, uh, well, I, I guess I have some vlogs to watch. I can do that, um, but otherwise just chilling. Um, wasting time for the shower, and I think we're out for the night. Um, so yeah, just a uh, chill day. Um, just about getting things in order. Things are just about in order. Um, I think I found a PDF of the Grapes of Wrath. I think it's 300 pages. I'm going to double check. I want to I make sure that if I'm going to sit down and reread it, I read like the whole thing. Um, what, what I mean is that um, there's probably edits floating around, um, including possibly the original. I, I don't know the history of the text, but I know that texts like this are sometimes expanded. I mean, this is a historically important text, right? So, um, I just want to make sure I get the whole thing, like all of it. I don't want anything cut for brevity. I don't think anything, you know, edited for consumption. I want the whole fucking book, right? So, I gotta make sure I find that. Um, but um, if if about 300 pages holds, then it's about 100 pages a day for the next three days, and that's uh. I'm um, starting on Monday. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That, that's that's my week, um, and I'll uh, be back into uh, scheduled alter reality updates uh, soon enough. So,
yeah, nothing else to say. Just wanted to check in with that. It's about 9 o'clock at night. Um, and I did find my, my way in here to do a little bit of work. Um, I'm waiting for my vlogs to render. I'm just, I was just experimenting with the possibilities of this period 1.2 LF disc, and I am admitting that this, is, this can't happen. Um, it relied on the possibility that I could fit everything I wanted to fit onto an 8.5 gigabyte dual DVD, dual layer DVD, and I just, I've got too much stuff to fit on there. Um, that was the initial conclusion around the period one in the first place was that it all had to be together. It's just, um, I do have period one split into three subgroupings. Period 1.1, which is just the initial demos. Period 1.2, which is the big section I just completed. And period 1.3, which is like the end part of Inri where I'm like knowing I want to end Inri, but I don't know what I want to do next, right? So, um, as things develop, um, well, it, the period subgroupings are going to be often tied to um, project names. So a lot of the times it's going to, like, the, the period 1.3 disc will probably also be the same as the in ridiculous disc, or very close to it. Um, actually, it's not true. They will be different, but there's going to be big, big amounts of overlap after that. Like, for example, the, the period 2.1 disc is the deny everything disc. They're the same thing, exactly the same thing. And that's gonna be more common um, going out, so the ambiguity will be less. Um, but for this particular, um, because period one is all in re, so 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 and 1.1 1 are, um, it, 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 it doesn't compartmentalize. Um, as simply. And I was kind of hoping that I could get a period 1.2 out, but um, it looks to me like I'm going to need around 12, 13 gigabytes. And then I'm packaging two discs. And what it is that I give you for this compared to the period 1 disc when it's completed will probably... I mean, it, it's, an, it's an addendum, it's an add-on, right? Um, it makes the best amount of sense when it's all together. But if I split it off, um, it would be... Like, I, I could release it as a Blu-ray, is what I'm saying. But th th that would be pointless. So, um, I like to have two Blu-rays, and one of them be half full. Like, what's the... <laughs> I, I, I don't like that idea. That, that's... Um, it's a necessary packaging. <laughs> um, so, um, we're just going to remove this. Um, anybody that's interested in period 1.2 specifically would be advised to get the, well, either the period 1, either the full period disc, right? Um, and that'll come with all the outtakes and everything on it. Or if you just want the results for period 1.2, then what you'll need to do is you'll need to get um, two DVDs. In fact, um, you know what, I can do that. I can put it up as Bandcamp, period 1.2, and just be like, buy this, buy, buy these two discs. Okay, that's what I'll have to do. Um, and it'll be DVD flat disc 1 and DVD flat disc 2. Um, it may also end up being very similar to the MP3 disc, which um, is coming up to a turn fairly soon. Um, so that's th those are the two options. Yeah. Or the three options, sorry. You can either buy it as the period one MP3 disc, or sorry, as the MP3 disc volume one, which will be roughly the first 30 releases, which is period 1.1 and period 1.2. Um, you could get the whole period disc, which is going to be a while before it gets there. Um, or you get the FLAC 1 and FLAC 2 discs. And then, um, it'll be the, fir the first one, I I again, that's period 1.1 and 1.2. The first one's going to be like, uh, 0 to 15, sorry, 0 to 14. And the second one is going to be roughly 15 to 30. 
Um, I don't know if that uh, ratio of um, two flex to one MP3s will hold if it does. Um, maybe I could start thinking about, yeah. I just realized the other day that I can um, add multiple merchandise items to the same uh, release, so long as they're not connected to different records. So that means I could do things like put a release up and then say, okay, buy both of them. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, this idea is kiboshed or converted. I'll have to see how the discs uh, work out, but it's going to be... Uh, the closest thing to this will be um, probably the first MP3 disc, but it's all MP3s. Or the first two flat discs, but then there's no takes, or the period one disc, but then it's everything. If I could fit just a little more on a DVD, I'd do it. But it, it, it just doesn't fit. I'd like it to exist, but it doesn't.